okay so what's good everybody welcome back to yet another video uh, okay guys so guys what can where do i even begin where do i even start right um, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, also, please don't forget to like this video, comment, and do whatever you will. I mean, you will like the video. We know that's for cheesy. So you might as well just save yourself the, you know, a, 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 the burden of remembering why you need to like the video. Just like it right about now. Okay. So, um, so t in today's video, you can tell by the title, I'm giving you guys some of my reasons why you should get yourself a computer science degree, IT degree, I don't know, whatever degree in the software uh, space, in the computer space, you get it, okay? So this is not me by any means saying, guys, you must go to school. This is not me by any means saying uh, anything. Like, this is just me talking too much, as always. This is what I do for a living. I talk a lot and I have opinions and um, yeah take it with a pinch pinch with a pinch you take it with a pinch of salt take it don't take it do whatever you will with this information um, basically these are just my reasons so um, I'm not saying anything is wrong or anything is right but game does like I at the end of the day this is my whatever okay let's get straight into the video okay so as you would know that I do have a BSc in information technology degree. I majored in computer science and informatics and yes. So my second majors were like mathematics, but like I did that until first year, second year. So my degree was three years and two years I did maths. And then the second year I did two mathematical subjects. Yo, I don't know that I now go up, but anyway. <laughs> Let's get straight into the video. Okay, guys, but before I get straight into the video, yo, guys, like, I've got news for you. Um, so, guys, I have a story. So, remember last year, I had mentioned, remember when I left my job, right, my old job? So, I said that there was a, a lot of, like, wishy-wishy situation that had happened. And I was like, I don't want to talk about it at the time. I know, guys, usually I'm that type of person who cannot keep things to themselves. But that one, I managed to keep it for so long. And I had finally been at a space where I was like, I'm not going to talk about it. But anyway, I'm going to talk about it, right? So, you guys tell me, do you want me to do, like, a live um, video? Yeah, about like me telling the story from A to end, uh, to Z, <laughs> A to end, from A to Z, right? Like as to what transpired, what happened, what didn't happen, da 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 da, da right? You guys tell me, uh, I have a story time, guys. I've got, I'm gonna do like a series about that. Um, also gonna do it on TikTok first. I don't know, you guys tell me what it is that you want. Uh, you want, um, video, a. Uh, but in doing a trial, it's a trilogy is three videos. Do you want a series of those videos or do you want the one story and a live and you guys are going to join and you want to watch the live? Tell me what you want. Okay. Oh, guys. Um, yeah. I mean, why not? Also, guys, you know, with that being said, I'm in some sort of like financial constraint this month and I was also meant to do a vlogtober but i've got nothing to do i'm gonna be at home clearly uh but i'll see you guys what it's what is vloggable and i'll vlog it right but i had intended to do a vlogtober but get email Ayiko. but also one thing i did in the midst of email Ayiko, i purchased a trevenoa ticket but my problem with me purchasing having purchased the trevenoa ticket um so I yeah bought a ticket for next year in September so it's gonna be in Pretoria so yeah which is okay but right there was a seat there were seats like around the front like you see the there's the <clears throat> tickets for 1150 there's tickets for 1140 so I bought the one for 1140 I mean for 1040 rand simply because they were sold out guys I was in front of the queue I could have bought them but I don't want to buy them at the time I was still a little bit skeptical and my grandmother's like buy it right 
Uh, and then the literally on Friday when I checked the tickets, so I bought the tickets on the tickets on Thursday. When I checked on Friday, they opened an extra day and there were seats like in the yo guys we'll see my shunner. But anyway, guys. Um also my other thing is I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna get straight into the video, I promise you. Okay. So another thing is that so what happens if I if I die before the Trevor Noah show? What if what if something happens? Um so I'll need to print out the the ticket. So in case if I don't know guys, I'm not saying something's gonna happen, but I'm just curious. I've never planned anything so much ahead. Guys, it's literally in a year. I'm one of those people. I'm, I am not a planner, guys. If I go on vacation, just know that I didn't plan for it. So, yo, uh, uh. anyway, getting straight into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about, like I said in the beginning, uh, the top five, my top five reasons as to why you should get yourself an IT degree. So regardless of whether it's in a university, or PPP you get it right okay reason number one so um as you know guys too often I speak from my experience uh, whether it's something that I personally went through or something I've witnessed something I've seen uh, yeah that's where I speak from when it comes to opinions right and uh, yeah you know some people are like why don't you do guys it's an opinion then what's the point of an opinion if I could just go Google and find stats so by now this is what you like I'm not interested I just want to have an opinion <laughs> so of that okay so coming from somebody who has a mathematical background who's done computer science it was my major uh, so computer science would bring about all the concepts of coding or computers mixed with the mathematical part of it and so on and so forth as I've mentioned in my previous video I did talk about uh, the big annotations and stuff so it teaches you things like that right so this is basically you going to study I don't know what different institutions teach the students right but speaking from experience talking about someone like me who's went through uh, the IT degree, computer science degree in university from the University of Johannesburg. So basically, if you decide to get yourself a degree, you have sort of like a different approach. Uh, not even a different, but like a math, a much math, you, a much like um, advanced approach in terms of your your problem solving skills, which uh, would then allow you to incorporate like mathematical concepts, like I said previously, your big notation and da 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 into solving your problems. So basically, you get you don't just put a for loop because it allows you, but you check. You know the the things that needs to be checked you know and also your mathematical knowledge um or your computer science knowledge let me just say and your mathematical because you also have done mathematics in number two so basically you get a well-rounded um foundation right that is from your coding to your mathematics to your okay i also did business management so if I'm somebody who's looking into having a startup, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, bam. Also, I did information management um, in my second semester of my first year, which also taught me so much about like information, information management, you, you get what that is, right? To your computer science, to informatics, to your calculus, to your linear algebra, or your discrete mathematics, whichever one you choose, or applied mathematics or statistics, um, different strokes for different folks. So you get that much well-rounded knowledge. Um, so yeah, and then at number three, you could be anything you want in the world. The world is your oyster. Like, you can be a network engineer. You could be a game developer. You could be literally a project manager. You could be database administrator. You could be a business analyst. You could be a BI developer. You could be um, cyber security, you could do information security, you could be a, literally anything you want to be under the IT space from your to your IT auditing to anything like guys, anything like you know, it's basically that foundation that you get 
um so the reference that i would make is like for instance getting your um bachelor of Med medical sciences or medicine degree uh you could be an auth in orthopedics you could be a pediatrician you could be a video uh, cardiovascular um doctor yay you can identify this you could be a cardio dog, a cardiologist, um, cardiac arrest. Okay, you could be a cardiologist. You could be uh, a radiologist. You could be anything under the medical space, right? So that is exactly similar to when you have your IT degree, right? Also, given the fact that um, you have both your computer science and informatics or information, not information or information systems. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you could literally be anything. The world is your oyster. Who wouldn't want to be anything they want to be? Guys, come on. <laughs> In at number four, you could literally have your own startup without needing um, a business analyst, without needing a scrum master, without needing a project manager, without needing anybody but having yourself you know uh, from what i've stated previously that you could literally be anything so in your startup you would do your own planning your own architecture um design your own um re business requirements um do your own database normalization database design from like literally from your planning to your documents having all your diagrams your um interaction diagrams, your use case diagrams, your class diagrams, your e your entity related diagrams to everything that's going to make your um, business basically um, having your software in place without needing anybody telling you what it is that you need to do. Like in that sense, you could literally, you could be the startup, you know, you wouldn't need um, your literally, like I said, in terms of your estimations, your gen charts, like everything that you would need. Um, your val is it validation? Don't do it. All your documentations, you have all your deliverables. You can literally do anything by yourself, okay? Um, because you know the, you know, in terms of like system analysis and business analysis, in terms of um everything you are the world basically you know uh also like based off because there's people who only done computer science which doesn't teach the software engineering part of it but like you have if you've done an it degree it's an umbrella which involves the the the, the everything um from the code part of it to the software engineering part of it which is also coding is also in the software engineering but it's like the broader picture of a delivering a quality software like you have all of that and also given the fact that i'm the one person who did business management i hated it i'm not gonna lie to you i hated it but given the fact that i did that that also allows me to know how to run a business okay so that was only one semester of it but guys it's something okay into the textbook you can just go back and refer also i did accounting in high school so I'm kidding guys, that has nothing to do with this video, but you get what I'm trying to say or get to. In at number five, I'm thinking you are high, you, you have like a high, um, what is this guys? You're more likely to receive a very high starting salary, okay? So if you have a IT, or if you have an IT degree and IT degree, you're most likely to get a high starting salary because you've got a bachelor's degree and you've got so much knowledge and da 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 fresh out of university. Okay, well, I don't know what the reasons are, but it makes sense, guys. You've worked hard. So obviously, the return on investment, you've decided to go and invest in your education for three to four years. Now, coming back, guys, it wouldn't make sense that you study all these years just to get peanuts, but I did. But anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> okay, so in it, number six, last but not least, I know I said five, guys, I lied. It wasn't five, it's six, right? You also have more chance your chances of getting a job after varsity is very much high right if you're that person who's like the lady i you know i don't want to be hustling and wrestling like i don't want to be proving like i'm that person i hate proving points like i i hate it like i hate proving a point like why am i proving a point like 
if I'm not, I know it's for my own good, but like, I'm like, guys, I don't, I don't think life has to be that difficult. Personally, like, life does is is not to always be about the hustle and grassle. Is it hustle and bustle? Bustle, I think bustle. Um, I don't think we need to be hustling for everything, you know. But yeah. So basically, when I mean that, you most likely already there's like programs that are in place for people who have graduated from university. So your things have like your you would have things like your graduate programs, um, your internships, uh, which you know they strictly go to universities and you know present themselves and da 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 and all of that. And also in terms of international dondoni, you are most likely, you know, for as much as uh, you're also most likely to be looked at because you've got a computer science degree, which there's so much more. Uh, fine, I've not, uh, you know, unpacked. Uh, probably in the next video, I will unpack what it is that you get from the computer science degree. But for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And goodbye.